Hi, this is Sean Ivancic with Maserati Alfa Romeo of St. Petersburg here in St. Petersburg, Florida. Today we're going to take a look at the new 2017 Maserati Ghibli. For 2017, the body style hasn't changed much. There's a few minor modifications on the outside of the vehicle, which I'll cover in another segment. But today we're going to discuss what interior changes have been made. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First thing you're going to notice when you get in the car, it still has the same shift knob right here, the same Z transmission, 8-speed automatic. However, this piece right here, the command knob, was not present in the previous model. This was all open, all empty space. You now have a controller. The bottom one controls the menu on the screen. The top one is your volume. Now, <clears throat> the next part I want to show you, inside this little compartment right here, there used to be a USB and auxiliary. It's not there anymore. They've actually put a whole new system up here. This was never here before. All empty space. Now you've got your USB, your auxiliary, and a micro SD slot. But that's not all. Over here, you have a tray that slides out that you can put your cell phone on. And I have an iPhone 6S Plus, and it fits in here perfectly. The new Note fits in here perfectly. So you can put it in, close it, and there it's gone, out of sight. Another change on the vehicle, these buttons right here were a little more flush in the 2016, they blended in. Now, you definitely can tell that they're there. You've got your sport mode, your ICE, manual mode, traction control off. The buttons are all in the same place as they were in 2016, they're just different buttons. Now, for the climate control, the climate control has changed as well. You've got your hot and cold, your red and blue. Prior to this, it was a digital screen, and you couldn't really tell what the temperature was. You could always go to the navigation screen and hit your climate control. And you see, we could turn it on, and you can see your temperature on the climate control. But this one here is a lot easier to use. You've got your temperature, your fan speed, passenger temperature, and this is the whole new climate control system. Now, let's take a look at the most important change, in my mind, on the Ghibli, the 2017 Ghibli. You'll notice the screen. The screen is absolutely beautiful. It's a nice, flush, soft screen. It's almost like an iPad or an iPhone, a uh, very, very smooth finish. It is still touchscreen, but it doesn't have that plasma feel to it like most touchscreens do. It feels like real glass. And uh, it has a nice crisp image to it. It is larger. You have the same functions, the same functionality as you did in the previous model. So all the command system is basically the same other than it looks different. The buttons are still in the same places, the touchpad buttons. But now you've got this little trident right here. This is new for 2017. If you press that, that's going to give you the app manager, your media. You can actually press and hold it, and you can drag the menu. You can drag it other places. You can put it down here. So if you don't want, say you don't want to put the heated seat control here, you can move it. So if we go back to here, and say you want to put the, uh, let's say you want to put your settings right there, we can drag that and put that in its place right there very simple so those are the interior changes on the vehicle the seat stitching pattern has changed as well you'll notice that the seat pattern is different but the performance of the vehicle has stayed the same uh, the exterior of the car is relatively the same I'll cover that as well in another segment and the gauges up here have stayed the same as well so touching back on the car, you've got right here, you've got the new command screen. You've got the new climate control system. You've got the new button right here that shows all of your apps and icons on one screen. You've got the new compartment with the USB, micro SD, auxiliary, and a slide out tray for a cell phone. You have the newly designed buttons 
that control the sport mode, ICE manual, and traction control. New buttons, and you have a whole new command knob that controls everything on the screen if you don't want to use the touch screen. You can just turn this, select with this, and then here's the volume. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have any questions about the vehicle. Feel free to give me a call. My name is Sean Ivancic, 727-300-9011. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave comments below. Thank you.